Getting all up in the tall grass and the mosquitoes in the humidity was actually traumatic for me. But I had to do it. There was a massive payoff, people. Whoa, mosquitoes. What you're looking at is a factory Corona GT which left the factory with the full AGE. Not that that's what's in it now. Someone, and I think I know who, shoehorned a six cylinder engine in this. Okay, people. G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here, and yes, I am back from Australia. Had the time of my life, time and time again. I went to some sweet events, I got to drive some cool cars. How cool is this car? <laughs> Met some fine people, but besides him, plenty of cool people. Had some adventures. Please stay tuned, be subscribed, get that notification bell clicked because there's going to be some hilarious and amazing fun videos coming at ya. Wait up, weren't we in the jungle like just a minute ago with this car? Yeah, so uh, I have seen this car before. It was in uh, 2020, uh, October, about at the USS Kyushu auction yard nearish my house. And it was in the section of cars that are sort of uh, damaged. They're all kind of wrecks and sold as is. And it was there and I don't know what the starting price was and I don't have the auction sheet information and uh, just a reminder that wasabi cars is car spotting i see cars i document them kind of where they're lay there's not like uh, an owner that i could ask all my questions to and at the time i didn't think to take photo of the auction sheet because i never thought i'd see the car again but anyway it certainly is a gt at 141 is stamped on the firewall and it as i said before should have had the uh, four age from the factory from new so pretty incredible spec and one final thing to clarify before moving on i did suggest that i think i knew who did the engine swap i don't know them personally i know the where i don't know the who if that makes sense because i do car spotting i may have seen it years and years ago when i snapped a picture of it at someone's house and that's where i'll leave that and into the interior and from memory it was crustier and worse than it appears in this particular clip the seat trim is in decent condition the dude was a fan of speakers let me tell you that and uh you, there's some more in the front door which we'll get to in a sec aftermarket front seats uh similar -ish trim uh the dude loved gauges by the looks of it and i see there's a corona mark ii badge up there too uh, but yeah, gauges ahoy is gone all custom with the dash layout, which is interesting. Yeah, let's get out of the back seat here. We'll slam that door into the front, and the the gauge layout is fascinating. Check out that dash. Now it's front and center. We've got a a taco. Uh, there's a fuel gauge to the right and a clock to the left. Who saw that coming? K R P M. Does K just simply refer to K means a thousand? So it's in a thousand divisions. Plenty o gauges, people. Now, hopefully we get a look at the gear stick knob. Does anyone recognize this? I do see a TRD and a shift pattern sticker there, but what is that knob? If you know it, drop a comment. And moving on to the door cards, which are in decent condition. You, you can see those extra speakers as well. Bit of rust there. Uh, they are from a Carina. Window winders, electric, of course. Can I get a good angle to show the Carina? Ye kinda. But what an interesting block of thing that is like, that's not subtle at all that's just fascinating and a bit of sabi bit of sabi oh and i didn't really talk about the body kit of this car either did i not that i have any information on who produced it though you'll see it does have side skirts and they're pretty epic out the back there it looks to be a soft rubber boot lid spoiler and the front no front spoiler we've got wagon quad round headlights most interesting now let's fast forward to 2022 and this mystery engine what an incredible adventure people uh, i have been here before that's the car i'm after people that one over there yeah so yeah i've been here before there was a mazda capella 626 that was cool as heck and there was a sunny which was absolutely incredible one of the, one of my favoritest finds actually i got to be careful where i bloody step here's the problem people um yeah so we're here to see wow what's that oh that a mark ii oh this is a bit sad let me get a bit of height actually yeah so we're at this yard here 
Gee, we're actually we're actually like wasabi car car spotting, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I was on the road over there. I saw this one. Hey, I know you, and I saw this one at USS Kyushu. I got a ton of footage of it. There it is. And I realised that I never got to see the engine of this car. So I'm luckily because I can't really walk around there, but I'm going to attempt to open the door, check the engine, and it's a look at this, people. This. I actually don't like my chances, damn it. I wonder, can I, can I do that? No. Yeah, basically I can't, because I was trying to mess around with by mounting the camera somewhere, wait a sec. They haven't locked it. Okay, we have access. We have access, people. Look at the thing I'm dealing with, people. Oh, um, are they? Are they? Um, um, yeah, they are watts. I was looking for the watts mark there. Oh, people. Seat's gone, of course. Pretty funky. It's humid as all f up in this. I hope that did something. Dude, this is weird. TRD Senna. Look at this, people. Oh, people. What am I doing? What am I doing? I suspect I've lost a pint of blood to mosquitoes. Oh, my God. Dude, if I don't get freaking hepatitis or freaking cholera or something from that, I'll be, it's just going to be a miracle. I understand the camera work may not be cinematic, and I do apologize for that. Um. Okay. I think like Superman, I'm gonna rip. I think that's why I didn't, wait a sec. Camera down, people. Oh my God, I can't. Can't do anything. Oh, okay. Okay, people. The car is AT one four one four A G E U four A four A G. It's got a factory four A G. Unbelievable. Uh. Now, I, sorry, I just don't know enough to know about this, uh, the, mos oh, the mosquitoes are incredible. They are a credit to insect kind, unbelievable, oh my god, I'm getting eaten alive, people. Yeah, I don't know, Jack, about the, um, the induction people. What do you see? Let me know what you see, <laughs> because I'm going to do a runner in a sec, but 4AGE. So did you pick up on that massive brain fart I was having, people? I probably should have deleted all that footage there, but basically I was seeing that it had a 4AGE engine in it. Clearly not the engine that's there right now, but the sweat, the humidity, the mosquitoes had me wishing I was back in the air conditioning. This is absolutely fascinating. And I think, I think... I'm out of here, people. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you loved it. I wonder what I talked about in this video. Do subscribe. And all that love is, love is, love is. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, mosquitoes.